All right, the recording is on. Welcome in everyone to the August 2020 meeting of the Hampton Road Ship Model Society. Uh, start out by recognizing our guests. I see Joshua is very, very safe. Maybe. Oh, that's right. That's right. This is a very interesting. Josh is joining us from the USS New Jersey. They have a small show going on there. It was going to be a big model con. And, uh, they've had to scale it down due to COVID concerns. They have uh, somewhere around five people there. Uh, yeah, we got more, four Josh. here. How you doing? Good, and yourself? Good, good. Yeah, we got four of us here. Uh, Jim Wheeler, here, I'm gonna flip this, the screen around here. Let's see, there we go. Oh, that's not it. There we go. So this is uh, live in the wardroom of the battleship where uh, PSMS here is uh, displaying some model ships for the guests and talking about models. So uh, this is Jim Wheeler and Joe Jordan with the club brought their models in. This is the, uh, the hood, 1200. Remember Dennis Lovett put together. It's very, very nice ship. Did a great job on it. And uh, Joe, why don't you help me with some of these? Here, give us a tour. Right. These are yours. This is a 1 to 72 destroyer escort from the Everts class. And this is radio control. This is a Dumas uh, sub chaser kit. That's, that's radio, radio control. This is another tin can. That's the Everts of the Everts class. That's scratch book. And these are some plastic models of destroyer escorts. And this is a Cleopatra, which is a uh, British Leander. And that's radio controlled also. Great. And Jim, what did you bring? Looks like a... Uh... Okay, I have a um, PT at the very end. It's 124 scale, it's large. Then I have the PBR, which is a uh, river craft. The submarine is the blueback, which is the last class prior to the uh, nuclear, which would have been the skipjack class. And what makes these unique is the teardrop hull. Focus all, all the focus all. Great. Now you have yours. Yeah, we'll skip mine for. I'll come back to mine. Arleigh Burke is here, and the Arleigh Burke. Um, this one was especially to my liking for that show, The Last Ship. I've actually named it Nathan James, and that was an Arleigh uh, Burke class uh, destroyer. That is a Fletcher class destroyer over there. That's 172nd scale. This is 144 scale, uh, Farley Burke. And then we have the Emden, which is a Dresden. Hold on one second. I'm still showing your destroyer here. The Dresden? Dresden. That is a, well, it's the Emden. It's a Dresden class Berman cruiser. She was a commerce raider in the Indian and Pacific Ocean. He's very successful at it. Uh, they went to knock out a transmitter and they didn't have all their people on it. And the HMS uh, ship Cape Sydney came up and actually sunk her. That was the end of the end. Great. And if you guys are curious, what I brought is uh, my model ship weighs. Uh, picket boat. That's the only thing I have that's military. So that's what I brought in. <laughs> so I'm a little short on models today. So uh, <laughs> we're all here. We're masked up. We're uh, drinking some Dunkin' Donuts, which is definitely good. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to uh, interacting with some guests. So that's what's happening on the battleship today. When does it open up? Uh, 10 o'clock. So, okay. what I wanted to catch up. Then, huh? 
I wanted to catch up with you guys, uh, you know, before we got busy here, but uh, this is live on the battleship. It's like you said. Yeah, cool. So we already jumped into the show and tell, but it makes sense to do that because you guys will be busy later. Yeah, I'm sorry to hijack your meeting. I just no, no, no. <laughs> you need to hijack it at all. That's that's wonderful. That's great. So I'm probably going to jump off now, but I just wanted to stop in and say hello. All right, cool. Hey, good good seeing right. you again, Joshua. Good luck. Good with seeing your show. you too. All right, so long, everyone. Mr. Moritz. Good morning, sir. Everybody's muted. Nobody can hear each other. Oh, I'm not muted. <laughs> I figured that out a minute ago. <laughs> well, maybe Greg will figure it out shortly. Yeah. Greg's muted. Greg's <laughs> muted. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> figure it out. There you go. Hey, uh, second banana. Where's your first banana? Oh, that would be me, I think. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know what the banana is, but. It's, it's this one. <laughs> John Jeevers. Oh, that's the first banana. Okay. <laughs> All right. I got some rotten bananas in the kitchen. Anybody <laughs> came from it? <laughs> All right. Uh, next, are there any corrections or additions to the minutes? Silence. Okay. Treasurer's report. Okay. Uh, we started hey, the month something. off with... Uh, Oh, wait, could you cut off a second, Ryland? Hank's waving his hand. What's up? Yeah, it took me a minute to get on mute. On the, on the minutes there, Yeah. and I think this was in last month, too, the model that I've shown pr progress on is the beagle with a B and not the eagle with an E. So you need to add, just add an extra B. Not that it's a big deal, but oh, no, we this will probably right. be going on for a while. Yeah. All right, thanks. Okay, ready for treasures report? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, all right. We started the month off with $2,683.64. We got dues of $24. Uh, we had a refund of the picnic reservation, and it was $110. So we had total receipts during the month of $134. No disbursements, which I know we owe for uh, some, you, Greg, for some Zoom meetings and, um, and some other expenses. And uh, so we went up the month with $2,817.64. Uh, still got eight members that owe dues. I sent out uh, emails and, and uh, sent out a letter about uh, a little over a week ago. Still have not received anything in the mail yet. So, uh, you know, hopefully things will work out. But, uh, but that's where we stand. 46 regular members, five associates, um, one honorary member. And uh, so we're you know, still holding up pretty good membership wise. And, and also treasury wise, we've got, you know, the $2,800 pretty good balance. All right, thank you. Uh, I will do the webmasters report and the way of new models on our website. I somehow missed uh, David Tags Tortuga, USS Tortuga. He, you know, David passed away years ago and he built the Tortuga years before that. Somehow I just missed it. I had the photos but never posted them or they were on the old version of our website and didn't get transferred one way or the other. So that's been added. Uh, Jean Andy's City of Monroe, a uh, paddle wheeler. Um, Stuart Wynn's Yacht Mary. And John proudly has been busy. Uh, he sent me pictures that I've posted for Prince de Neufchatel. Uh, picket boat number one, uh, Brig Niagara, a lobster boat, USS Gearing, USS Constitution, and the Atlantic, the uh, boat that held the transatlantic speed record for a while for sailing ship. Thanks a lot, Greg. I appreciate that. Uh, no problem. Uh, and let's see. Oh, um, I'm going to share. Oh yeah. <clears throat> your your 
you're uh, you, you don't I don't hear you. You muted yourself, Greg. No, I, I'm unmuted now. I accident I let go of the space bar because it was interfering with the scroll wheel, and then I forgot that that unmuted me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're I'm back. Um, I wanted to remind everyone that if they want to get a reminder via email, not a reminder, a notification by email whenever a new model is added, that you can put in your email address here and hit subscribe. And then every time I add a new model, you'll get a notification. Just a reminder for that. Um, I changed the home page to include this uh, excerpt from George Livington's uh, obituary that I thought was a Very nice. fairly eloquent thing about ship models. Yeah. I think I'll probably just, it, it could come down after a while, but it's not really about George. Uh, so I think it could stay there indefinitely and be a nice intro. Everything yeah, I, I that agree. used to be here uh, about the club is under this about us link, which is, typical for a website. Um, I added uh, from my discussion, my presentation last month, I added a new shop note. So I've, I've got a backlog of shop notes and anything you wanna contribute, whether it's a presentation or just something you want on the website, send it to me. Um, <clears throat> this one they're categorized and how they're categorized might change over time I'm not sure I'm not 100% happy with uh, this yet but if you want to search for a particular type of note so this is um, This is the shop note on using solid edge. It has a link to the recording of the presentation. And uh, I was talking to somebody on the phone recently. I'm sorry, I can't remember who. They said they had a, they submitted a request to download it and they hadn't heard back. Um, you, you shouldn't have to submit a request and hear back from them. It should be immediate. So I suspect what happened was that that person was requesting a trial version of the 3D product, which you would need to go through a third party or uh, submit a request for. For the 2D application, it's just immediate, download it and start using it right away. Greg, um, that was me, Jimmy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I, I think I figured out the problem was the, the software is, is based on an IBM. I, I got a Mac that doesn't, Mac doesn't uh, Okay. Um, okay. Sorry about that. Yep. Um, but it did also kind of point out to me that I had forgot to include the download for where you get it in the original posting of the shop note. So now I've added that. So if you've already seen the shop note before, this is new. And I'm going to go there just a second to see if it says something about, uh, does it say anything here about, um, Microsoft only. Well, if you go over to where it says the system requirement, you see it's 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 based on uh, our, your, your uh, Windows. Okay. All right. Well, sorry about that. There are some other um, free software for Macs, but this is the one I like because of the uh, constraint solver. Uh, I think it's missing in the other ones. Um. So I've posted some logbooks from other clubs and recording of our last meeting. So I have, um, I don't have a lot of good material from our past meetings, but I'm going to go through what I have retroactively and post them under calendar past events under meetings. You'll see just right now, the April and July, I'll fill in what I have for our past meetings there. But here you can see the um, three recordings, one each for the, the business portion, the show and tell portion and the presentation. 
Uh, all right, that's it for the webmaster's report. Nice. And so next is old business. Um, first thing was the club picnic. Ryland uh, accepted the action to try and get a refund for the picnic, which we decided to cancel. He was successful in that. Thank you, Ryland. Uh, second thing was the possibility of having a shared account for Zoom meetings between ourselves and the New Jersey Club and possibly the Philadelphia Club as well. Um, I, I thought that was something that we would put to a vote, but in the end we agreed it, we'd leave it up to the club officers. We met um, and ultimately decided to maintain our autonomy our, our um, balance sheets are large enough to handle the full amount without having to share. Um, some discussion has come up since then. We may reopen it for now. The decisions uh, at least temporarily have been made to just continue on as normal. I did pay for a full year uh, to save, I can't remember, it's two or $3 a month. Um, with the thought that even if the pandemic thing um, subsides and the museum reopens, that it would be good to have our meetings streamed so that, you know, Gene Andes, among others, can continue to join us. We can have speakers from the outside, et cetera. Um, so that's decisions at least 90% made, if not 100%. Um, any other old business I'm forgetting? Don't think so. Okay. Don't think so. All right. Uh, under new business, I'll start it off. Um, as you know from the logbook, uh, the day we met last for a meeting, George Livingston passed away. It was uh, remarkably on his 82nd birthday. And I'm told that he was in a, a great deal of pain at the end. Uh, pain at the level that it caused him to vomit. So I guess it's a uh, mixed bag. His passing is a bit of a relief from his pain anyway. Um, there had been a question posed to me in the time that's passed since the last meeting or whether we would want to make a donation in his name to the museum or somewhere else. Um, I don't know that it's, a, it's not so much, it's not as charitable an organization as the museum, but he was extremely uh, tied to his um, rowing club that he used as a youth. That would be another idea. Um, so I'll just leave it open for discussion if anyone wants to make a motion. Is that is that rowing club up in uh, Buffalo? I believe it is, but I would have to double check. Okay. I like I like that idea. I, I, are you ready for a motion or do we need more discussion? <laughs> uh, anyone can make a motion, then we'll discuss it. I make a I make a motion that we make a donation to uh, the rowing club that he was uh, connected with. In his name. Okay. Uh, we'll discuss the amount, I guess. Um, the amount that was proposed to me was 100. I don't know if that's in line with what we've done in the past or not. I, it I don't have a memory line. for that. Hmm? It is in line. Yeah. All we've, right. We've always done $100, or, you know, some people we've sent flowers, but in this situation, uh, I, I think a $100 yeah. contribution is, is, is warranted. I think that in most cases, something like this would be more welcome than flowers anyway. Flowers just kind of noise for most people, I think. Yeah. Well, then I'll, I'll amend my motion to uh, we make a donation in his name to that rowing club in the standard amount of $100. Okay. All right. Thank you, John. Second. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Um, so I'm going to ask for everyone who's in favor to hold up their hand and give me keep it held up long enough for me to scan the screen here. Uh, unfortunately, not everyone. All right, it's a clear majority. I don't have to count everyone. All right, thank you. 
Uh, I will contact Shirley and get the details about the club and um, they must have some sort of need for donations like a youth program or something like that. So we'll, we'll get it. You know, the general fund or something like that. Oh, there's this thumbs up thing. That works. Yeah. It's easier than yeah. hands. Now, how do you get rid of it? <laughs> oh, yours went away. How do you do that to begin with? I guess it's just... It times out. It times it's out. under reactions. Okay, oh, okay. times out. Ah, uh, down there. Gotcha. Yeah. Click on your box. It'll go away. All right, cool. Okay, okay. Okay, got it. Go. All right. All right. The next time, we'll use that, I guess. As long as it stays up long enough for me to get a clear majority and everyone does it right away. It's like one, two, three, go. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Any other new business? Uh, new business. Oh, well, I guess I'll mention that um, everyone already knows from the newsletter that I um, – was invited to say a few words at George's Memorial that was held online via Zoom. Uh, that went reasonably well from my perspective and very well as a overall memorial. Uh, Greg, I, I watched that yesterday, which had sent out the link to that and it was really well done. I wonder how much of that other than the individual speakers was live, like the the uh, choir, the Glee Club, and some other event things that had going on. It was really interesting the way they did that. Yeah, um, couldn't tell for sure if the Glee Club was live or not, but I got the impression it was. It may have been, um, if it was live and they were actually singing, it was really impressive. If it was live and they were lip syncing to recording, it's still impressive because you couldn't tell. Either way, it was very nice. Yeah, I've heard some people try and sing stuff on Zoom, like Happy Birthday, somebody, and it comes out really terrible. But uh, and I don't know how they wove all that stuff in there on Zoom, getting a separate link or something. But anyway, it was it was really well done. All right, give me a moment. I'm making a note. Uh, someone pointed out a problem with the website in the chat window. I'm making myself a reminder. What was it? Two to eight p.m. Yep. <laughs> I'm not sure how that happened. <clears throat> um, it's nice to know anyone's looking at the calendar. Um, so that's good news. Uh, I saw new business is over. I think there's no nothing else. All right. Um, we're to show and tell already. I'm going to stop the recording and restart it so that we get a separate file for posting online. Give me a right, right back.